Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Pokemon Sage, and we are back with it. Now, previously I uh, did a playthrough on this game, but unfortunately, well, I didn't have commentary. That was a long time ago when I had a occupied house and not my very own room. But now here I am with this uh, playthrough, and we're gonna do it with commentary. So, um, yeah, this is actually the newest update for Pokemon Sage. I'm really excited for this. This game was pretty dang good at first. It was very, um, it's kind of like one of those, um, Mr. Buddy, uh, uh, videos on, like, you know, what his what if regions, you know, like, what if Australia was a Pokemon game or stuff, something like that. This game feels like those type of things. <laughs> and I just love it. Um, I really am going to be enjoying this. Hope you guys will as well. So uh, let's get into it. Battle effects. Uh, on battle style set. I like to keep it set. I'm a pro at this. Running key hold. Yes. Uh, speech frame. What's oh that's okay. That's cool. So I can oh okay okay. And just change it to whatever I want. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see what they got. No. Oh, the original right here. Okay, we'll keep 21. Menu frame? Yeah, we'll keep that too. Oh, they have a lot. I guess I'll keep it to this. Font style, emerald, ruby and sapphire, fire and leaf green, diamond and pearl. We'll keep it diamond and pearl. Text entry, screen size, screen border. All right. That is good. We are good. Let's begin the game. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Begin before we begin. Is there anything you need assistance with? Uh not thank you. This world is filled with many the many of these creatures called Pokemon. Some enjoy training their Pokemon and fighting alongside them. Others simply enjoy their company. I used to be quite the trainer back in my day, but I made it my life's work to research Pokemon. That's why I've come to Orobos to study the history of the native Pokemon and the fascinating stories behind them. My passion for Pokemon research has even led some to call me the Pokemon Professor. In any case, it's time for you to begin your adventure. But first, a few questions if I may. Oh dear, these glasses are always getting smudged. Uh, tell me, are you a boy or a girl? Yes, because your glasses are really at fault at knowing my gender. But yes, okay. Oh, of course. And your name is? Or help me, an old man out here, if you will. What is your name? Okay, okay. My name. Oh, I forgot the character's name. Alto? Something like that, I think. One second. Okay, it turns out his name is Simon. I totally forgot about that. This game... How long has it been since my last breakthrough? Okay, so you're Simon. Yes, are you prepared, Simon? The first page of your own Pokemon story will be written today. You will meet countless friends and foes alike, overcoming challenges you never thought possible. Now, <laughs> go now, Simon. The world of Pokemon is awaiting for you. And here we are. Now, the truth is, I did have a save for this game, but for some reason, uh, it didn't load up with this version. So, I guess we're just gonna start from new. Let's start from scratch. For 3,000 bucks. Okay. Simon, I'm gonna miss you when you go out on your adventure. Huh? Well, wait! It's supposed to be a surprise. Don't tell Mom I said anything. <laughs> okay. Wait a second, hold up. Do we have this? It's your trusty computer. There's a potion next to the keyboard. And we got a potion. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna head down now. Oh, Simon, can you come here, please? Okay, that's my mother. Whoa, you have red hair. That's new. Is it? I can't remember. Your friend Sophia was over here not too long ago. She said Professor Mangrove has a surprise for both of you. You remember how to get to his lab, right? It's just across the bridge. But first, I have a surprise for you. Two brand new running shoes. Hey, press Z to zoom and go all over the place. Why am I giving you a present out of nowhere? Oh, you'll see. 
Yes, go me, Professor Man. Okay, so, uh, first of all, I can run now. Okay, that's good. The thing is, though, wait, why is there five seats? No, six seats. Wow, we have a big family. I only see two here. Well, three in total. <laughs> the thing is, though, don't all shoes... Can, are you capable of running with all shoes, though? I just don't get it. My wife and I have lived here a long time, even before the path of the Pokemon League was built. Huh. Is that so? I really need to buy me a stand for my mic. I... <laughs> I really do. I think I'm gonna buy that, actually, in a couple of uh, weeks. Professor Mangrove is incredible. I wish I could see half the things he's done. Uh, he's been? He's done okay whatever I wanted to build a snowman but the snow's too wet That's a snowman right there actually hold day pass something I feel like no never mind <laughs> I feel like there was an I am in this place this town but I don't remember that's probably from the previous beta, uh, version of the game I have no idea it's hard to raise kids I send them out to play as often as I can I'm 20 years old I know your pain. Technology is amazing. People all over the world can connect. Oh, the fat guy who talks about technology. Oh, yes. You can't have a Pokemon game without him. One day, I'm going to get a Pokemon of my own. I can't wait. That's my brother? Hey, little bro. You know mom told you not to leave town on your own. I ain't getting in trouble for letting you pass, so don't even try and sneak by. Okay. I <laughs> had to... See if I can get a Pokemon. This is Sophia's house. She's not here, but we're gonna see what her peeps are up to. It's hard when your children leave home. You just have to hope they're ready. Sorry, my stomach growled at the very moment. <laughs> hey Simon, it's been too long. If you're looking for Sophia, she ran off in to Old Man Grove's lab in a hurry. She said something about getting a Pokemon. Gee, I remember when my best friend and I got our first Pokemon. We had a battle and a loss, and to this day, he won't let me forget it. <laughs> wow. That friend of yours sounds like a... Like, sounds like a dick. I love taking walks and breathing in the cold mountain air. That's awesome. Okay. So I guess we're here. Let's go ahead and obtain our Pokemon. Mangrove. Ah, Simon, you're finally arrived. Simon, the professor is giving us both our very own Pokemon today. Er, it was supposed to be a surprise, but yes, as Sophia said, I would like to give you you each your own Pokemon today. Over on the table, there are three exceptionally rare Pokemon. Choose with it, with it, whatever you would like. Simon, you get to go first. No, that's right, because you can choose my weakness. I, like, I see how you work. Kidling, the Tinder Pokemon. If I get this one, that'd be cool. I did pick um, the water type previously. I, I did pick the um, the water type. This is fully yet? Okay, so I picked the water type last time, and that was this Pokemon. And so what I'm going to do this time is pick the fire type. Because I want something new. So I'm going to obtain Kidling. Kidling, a smart choice in such a cold climate. You pick a Kidling? Well, I've always loved a Grood. A Grood? A Grood? E? <laughs> so that's my choice. I remember picking this uh, a different star, and that was the star that she just obtained, but I decided to get Kidling. You're a modest nature. Are you, aren't you a physical attacker? I guess we're gonna have to find out. Very uh, finicky. That means you have special attack IVs. That's good. <laughs> the world of Pokemon is a vast and exciting one. I hope you're ready for it, Simon. I guess I will. I hope so. Let me get on this chair real quick. Okay, I can get on it. However, let's get through. Oh, wait a second. Hey, wait a sec. Let's have a bow before we leave. You better not go easy on me. Oh, I won't. You're done already. Okay, so attack. Hmm. She's 
do only about four damage to me. I don't know how much damage I'm doing to her. I'm modest nature. Uh, I'm a tail whip. Don't you have tail whip or something? Growl. I may lose here. Wait a second. No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? A critical hit. Oh, this will not stand. <laughs> I knew I would win. I'm gonna have to train hard to stay ahead of you, though. Alright, first stop, Quaver, Quaver Town. <laughs> See you later, Simon. Okay. Oh, one more thing, Simon. Can you come over here for a moment? I have something else to give you, but my assistant, Sequo, Sequoia, Sequoia, <laughs> has it. Can you go and fetch her? She's probably in Telmore Town. Just take Route One, Route One, east to <laughs> east to get there. I'd be um, it'd be best if you stuck to the path. It's much faster that way. Oh, and one final thing: you don't have to keep your Pokemon in its ball all the time. You can have one of your Pokemon follow you around if you like. Just check the party menu. Ha! Huh, and there you are. Well, yeah, like duh. You don't have to need to keep your Pokemon inside its Pokeball. I had a potion. I was gonna use it in that battle. Well, they actually changed this back. That's this is new. It wasn't like that bef uh, before. I, I I remember that. What's that X? Follow. Oh, okay, that's how you do it. Okay. That's some bullshit, though. Are you kidding me? She actually beat me with a crit. You got a, a Pokemon? Let's see. You're so lucky. I wish I had a Pokemon. Yeah, you wish. Is this a trainer? If your Pokemon gets low on health, use this. Two potions. Okay. East is Telemore Town, so we have to go right. What's down here? Ooh, the Pokemon in there sure are tough. You look like a newbie. It might be best to avoid going in there if you're struggling out there. I'm gonna take her advice. A harpy. It's time to catch you. Oh, he's saying I don't have Pokeballs. Well, your XP. Twister, dragon time moves. You're crazy. We would be level 7 right now, maybe. We would, maybe. Oh, train. I like hats. They're comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> you can't wear shorts in the winter, so... Hats are what the... Youngster, youngster Maxi? They're supposed to be Youngster Joey. That's not right. Oh, they changed the, the animations. Okay. Pokemon move a lot more now often. Okay, that's... This is pretty cool. This is much more of an update. This, the creators of this game know how to polish something here. They really polish this game. It's a lot better. And for some reason it feels difficult. Just what I like. Now let's try and not miss this tackle. Yes, we're good. Level 6. Now people can stop pestering me about that line. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Uh, a friend of mine gets asked to, to say that exact same line. <laughs> oh, does he? I know who he's talking about. That's funny. Oh, another person. Um, you have 11. You. Yeah, you're good on HP. You only have like 10 HP lost. Let me see if I can beat some wild Pokemon before I heal. Oh, a four harpy, that's good. I wish I could catch you, buddy. Uh, Twister doesn't have effect on Lair. Oh, sad. Amber. What the hell is... Whoa. A fawning? Oh. <laughs> it went all spirally and stuff. I mean, what was that? This is like a special encounter. 
I don't remember this Pokemon at all in this route. I like to catch you, but I don't have a single Pokemon. Oh, I do. When did I get a Pokeball? What is this Pokemon called? Falling? Let me see what it evolves into. Okay, this Pokemon's stats are very mediocre. I'm guessing, like... <laughs> its stats are basically like, well, speed, special defense, and defense, they're all 80. And its attack is 100. Its, def it's HP is at base 90. So, it's nothing extraordinary. The only good Pokemon is that flying type. And I... I just passed through that. Dang it, I wanted to get that Pokemon. The path only gets more treacherous from here. Let me test your resolves. Oh yeah? Bro, let me test you at a jogging contest. I bet if I just ran, you would not catch up. You tubby boy, you need to lose some weight. Have Blusa. Okay. Hey, well, wait. You're an ice type. Goodbye. You pass, you pass. That's right, I do pass. Who do you think you're playing with, bro? I am not to be messed around with. So I'm gonna see what I can catch. Aha! Rematch. Harpy, it's time to catch you. Oh, well, you barely took that. Whatever. Where did I even get this Pokeball, though? Just wait. Oops, not my bag. I want to go to my Pokemon. Harpy! Gentle. Next attack at least. Ooh, Moxie. It has Moxie. It's nature's crap, but that's okay. It's not too terrible. It boosts the uh, defense, but not the. Uh, it lowers the special defense, right? Yes, okay. Gentle. Not a great nature at all, but it's something. Sequoia. Oh, hey, Simon. What brings you to Tell Tremor Town? Trimble Town. Oh shoot, you're right. The professor needs them today, doesn't he? Darn it, I f forgot. Totally. I gotta go. Meet me back at the lab, Simon. Oh, uh, okay. So let's go there right now. We gotta take this route. Ooh, this is Cub Zero. I like you, but I don't at the same time. Oh, that's right. I'm leaning over you. I forgot. I mean, it's like, I like this Pokemon. Cup Zero, but it's just, the stats are, as well, are just mediocre. This Flying Type Star is the only decent Pokemon out of this grass. I need to improve my footing to make it down the mountain. How about I prove my footing up your ass, lady? Who dares to battle me, alright? Who, how dare you battle me? <laughs> That's my man. What the hell? Fawning. This one with the stats are so mediocre and its final evolution, I doubt this thing even stands a chance against me. Because this Pokemon right now, like, look at it, this guy completely obliterated. Wow. Oh, you. You're a good Pokemon. You're actually probably the best Pokemon in this group. Unfortunately, an Ice and Flying type Pokemon has so many. Disadvantages. So I'm not sure if I could handle that. Did I he, wait. You're up first, but somehow whatever. You got a little bit more XP to go. It hurt me. That's good. Waterfall cave. Not great. Cub Zero. I'm gonna try and level up my Harpy just a little five until I can switch out. 
There's no boost button. I mean, that's a good thing. That's also a bad thing. I mean, I guess, I guess this game is more enjoying that way. It's just like, I hope this is not like Pokemon Uranium. Where things get so much more difficult for you. And there's no method of grinding. And just, also everything is a little slow paced because there's no real way of uh, improving yourself. But yes, I'm in level 5 of Heartbeat, so I'm going to switch out into my Kidling. Kidling. That's probably the only Pokemon I can pronounce right now. <laughs> that and the Heartbeat. What is your name? Pablusa. I can pronounce your name a little. Okay, can I walk? If I use the escape rope, I'm not gonna go from the other direction. But I see why I put the escape rope in here. It's just that was, that was a good method. In case you're like too weak to try, even try and move and face another Pokemon, you can just use that to uh, to escape. I like that. Maybe this game won't be difficult. It's helping you right there. But let me heal my Pokemon. You should be able to heal them right here, with your mother. Welcome home, honey. Why don't you take a rest? Yes, yes, thank you. There you go, well rested. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Well. Oh, yeah, okay, right here. <laughs> oh, Simon, thank you for bringing back my assistant. I have another favor to ask of you, but let us wait until Sophia returns. I saw her on the, my way back. I sh <laughs> it shouldn't be too long. Professor, my Pokemon was stolen. What? When did this happen? It was on Route 1 and... Hmm, a suspicious character in a poncho and a hat stole your Pokemon. Simon, you didn't see anyone like this, did you? I didn't see anyone like that on my way back. They must have gone towards Trum Trummeltown. I've never heard of something so despicable as stealing a Pokemon. That actually sounds pretty mediocre. <laughs> if you were in this world. Or actually, no, even in the Pokemon world. Like Team Rocket, Team Plasma, they steal Pokemon. Kids these days have no respect for anything. Hey, Professor, why, why not give Sof Sophia the last Pokemon over there on the table? Hmm, oh yes, great idea. Sophia, go ahead and take the last Pokemon. At least until we got to the bottom of this. Thanks, Professor. I'm going to try and get my Pokemon back. Oh, Sophia, before I forget again, I have something to give you, both of you. We have lived with Pokemon as far as we can remember, but there are still many types of Pokemon we know very little about. This device will record data about any Pokemon you catch and allow me to enhance my research. What's a Pokemon to her without the Pokedex? And there, have these Pokeballs. I'm sure you know what to do with them. <clears throat> uh, I'm sure you'll know what to do with them already. Make sure to use them wisely. Okay. <laughs> I had to read over that again, my bad. My, I'm clearing my throat. Aerobos is full of secrets and wonders, but we shouldn't get too distracted right now. That Pokemon thief is still at large. Be careful, Simon and Sophia. I will. So, okay, um, alright, you're yeah, done here. So let's continue. Once I see a little bastard who stole her Pokemon, I'm gonna beat his ass. Wait, like, hello. Hey, little bro, wait. Up. Oh. Man, I am glad I caught you before you left. Wow, I still can't believe my baby brother is leaving the spot, the scapel, to go <laughs> on a Pokemon journey. The, 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 <laughs> how you pronounce that? What the hell? The, the, Capo, that's how, that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. That's how I'm gonna say it. The Capo to go on a Pokemon journey. Dan and I are rooting for you, kid. As a matter of fact, we got you a little present. Oh, the Poke Gear. Hey, this is Pokemon Gold and Silver. It's a Poke Gear. You'll be able to keep in contact with us, so you don't, ha so you won't forget your folks out here in the Capo when you're a, fam a famous trainer. Uh huh. So, I'm your little brother, huh? Hey, take care out there, alright? Remember, you can always come home. We'll be waiting for you. Mm-hmm. 
Where are Folk Cave? Let's continue. Oh shit. Okay, let's see how you fare, Harpy. Since you have Moxie, that's not gonna help unless the Moblick is a trainer. But, uh. Let's see how well you do. Okay, you're gonna stop lowering my attack, sir. Or ma'am. I'm gonna drag the tight move. Moxie. Okay, Harpy, you're doing all, all right for yourself. The blue side. I need to get a little bit more XP. I need to level up my Harpy here. Okay, can you guys do anything but sand attack me? I mean, I could just switch out and just reset my stats again, so. What you're doing here is cute time. Actually, I'm not gonna complain. I'm <laughs> hitting all of my attacks and they're not doing anything against me. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Harden. You show you how futile that is. Twista. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, he pounded me. Heck. Did I kill you? Okay. <laughs> the last Twister did nothing. This Pokemon with Moxie is so dangerous. Any Pokemon with Moxie is dangerous, in my opinion. Scrafty. Salamence. Uh, who else? Um, I'm guessing that's the only ones I can remember. That's all I can remember right now. Okay, this Pokemon knows how to fight. Uh, that did about four things. Okay, I'm gonna switch out. I don't blame my, uh... Harpy for not killing this thing. It's low five. I'm already weakened. And second to that, my harpy is gentle nature. If you jolly your adamant, bro, that'd be so cool. Yeah, but uh, this is a, this is just a, a friendly playthrough. Not competitive battle. Oh, it's snowing. Let me, let me run. Draw more Tom. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna heal. Sweet. My Capig and I both love it when it snows, but it's nice to warm up on the Pokemon Center. If your Pokemon get injured, take him to this place. Oh. That PC blew it up quite nicely. Even the PC has its own little animation when you open it. That's so cool, look at that. It's a Pokemon. Okay, it's books full of Pokemon. Alright. Let's go through house through house. On cold nights, it's fun to sit beside a warm fire and tell scary stallers. It's not always easy to keep the house clean. It's such a big family. Mom won't let me play until I finish my chores. Laundries, whatever. The Pokemon doesn't have all its stocks available to brand new trainers. The more badges you get, the more items you can buy. Which doesn't make sense. If they're trying to make a profit, they will sell you whatever they got. Our shop doesn't have much variety. Doesn't. Yeah, probably won't. Well, I'm good on that stuff. I mean, this isn't bad. How many Pokemon do I have? Five, that's good. Potions, I need three. Okay, that's good. Teaching a child isn't easy, but, it will, but I wouldn't trade for anything. My mom teaches me from home. Sometimes I wish I went to a real school guy. No, oh, trust me, you're enjoying yourself here. Now waking up early in the morning to go to school, dealing with other people. Oh my goodness. I wish I had a hat to cover up my bald head. Or at least a cat pig to sit on top of it. Wait, why are you out here with a bald head with no hat on? Dr. Evil looking ass boy. 
The weather gets more temp. <laughs> the weather gets more uh, temperate the further down the Tamatin you go. It must be nice to live somewhere that doesn't have a lot of snow. Like Florida? Yeah, a place that doesn't have a lot of snow. I don't know, it comes with some benefit, not every benefit though. So let's go up here. You trainers are valid. He has a type advantage, but I'm prepared. But the one's holding a berry that protects him from super effective moves. Here, try this on your next bow. Yeah, actually, berry. I'll put that on my flying side. Thank you, sir. You're battling to pass the time. I'll finish him with my super effective move. Can you see I'm trying to take a nap? You guys are lazy. We can't work right now because the police are investigating the mine. If I get the day off, they can stay in there as long as they want. My hands are so rough from working. Maybe I should get a manicure. Hey, mind your own business, kid. The hell? Why are you telling me this? <laughs> you want me minding my own business. Actually, they have a little sign for this trainer that took her Pokemon. Sophia. But, uh... Uh, so far, I've been reading everything I could explore. That's what I'm trying to do for you guys. I'm exploring everything. What's a kid like you doing back here? Go home. Oh, wow. You're rude. If you're going in the mines, you best be careful. It's full of Pokemon. Oh, trust me. I'm ready. It's blocked out. Okay, guys, I think that's it for our introduction. I'm going to head into this cave on the next episode of Pokemon Sage. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll be back. Peace.